Hey you right guys, Trey from Watches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 6 of Grey's Anatomy Season 2. Last episode was pretty good, we had Alex kind of panicking in the elevator situation. I've not uploaded that episode to YouTube yet, so I don't know if there was a deeper meaning as to why he was kind of sweating it out. But it, like I said, it could literally be as simple as he was nervous, overwhelmed, all that stuff. But uh, I don't know if there was something more going on that. Maybe I, maybe I missed, maybe I missed. Um... But yeah, uh, what else happened? We had Christina talking about porn to this guy <laughs> who was obsessed with porn, all that stuff that Grey's Anatomy loves to do, I guess. So episode six, guys, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Grey's Anatomy, then Patreon will, of course, be linked down below where they will be on around episode 16 or 17 of season two by the time this one's on YouTube. But for now, let's do this. I actually said pick me, right? I did. You did do that. Pick me. I think it's romantic. It's not romantic, Joe. No. It's horrifying. Horror movie horrifying. I think any you gave you made it very clear that you want him. I'll give you that. Like very clear. Someone I'll meet you later at a bar tonight. How long exactly does that mean you're supposed to wait? I think like forty minutes. 40 minutes, maybe an hour if you feed him very an hour ago. Now it's just pathetic. Who's pathetic? Pathetic, like they said. Why don't you just dump the pig's blood on me now and get it over with? The more I watch this show, the more I'm starting to realise that maybe George and Izzy aren't gonna be a thing. Someone said they kind of give sibling vibes, and the more I watch it, the more I'm like, yeah, I actually kind of see that. Oh, shit. Jack Bauer must have been on that train. Season 4, episode 1. For a cup of coffee. You're in no shape to cut people open. Oh, Plus, she's going to work drunk? The ending. Did he show up? Oh my god. I can't be bothered, guys. I can't be bothered. Dude, you're late. Well, he showed up, though, so, I mean, does that count for something? Unless he was coming to tell her that she, he'd picked Addison. Am I rambling? I think I'm rambling. Meredith, you should not be at work right now. There's zero way she's... At these characters are unbelievable. <laughs> They've all just been drinking and they're walking around into the hospital like, where are the walls? Help me. Everything's dizzy. Chance to perform an open heart surgery? Well, Mally plugged a hole with his finger. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Uh, men don't talk about feelings, Izzy. Don't be ridiculous. What are you looking at? Did he just yeah, jizz himself? Nothing. What? Jesus. Oh, calm down. It's a train wreck. You know what I mean? I'm so not tired anymore. Me neither. I'm Come on. Oh, she looks pretty bad, actually. We've got a third trimester burn victim here, Dr. Bailey. I'm going to need some help. Oh. Meredith, go home. Meredith, calling it now, Meredith messes up this episode. She does something bad. She's going to kill someone. Oh, oh that hey, guy. Joe told me to tell you that McSteamy came looking for you. You mean McDreamy? Why does his shoulders look so... Is I walking around like this? I don't know what's going on. Get the leg! What the hell? You ran it... He lost a lot of blood. Oh Pressure God. Pressure blood. Any headaches today? No. Dizziness. Nausea? Blurred no. vision? No, no, and no. Now get out of my way. Fine, but I'm coming with you. We're on fire. It's up to you. I love that he sticks to protocol, even though, like, he tells him not to. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Oh my God. Is this the craziest thing you've ever seen? Well, we saw someone running with a leg, but that's this is up there so far for sure. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of um, deaths in this set. We want to try to move as little as possible. Oh, okay. Maybe these two are gonna fall in love. So are you gonna pull this pole out of us anytime soon? Touch uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, in that case, does anybody have a breath mint? Oh dear. For me, not for you. Oh, for her. Maybe they will fall in love. I was kind of joking, but... Get over your newfound fear of scalpels. That was mean. Well, what's Even that for mean? you. You are drunk. Yeah. Do not speak to any more patients. Do not practice any medicine. So I'm going to do a surgery. Ten years of marriage. I didn't even get to finish my damn lobster. <laughs> well, is there anyone you'd like me to call? No, they called my wife from the ambulance. And my fiance. Ah, oh, boo. You have very nice pores. Hurts <laughs> oh, oh, to laugh. Oh, you should divorce and get rid of your fiance. Whoa. You can go ahead. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you can skip the queue on this one. She's got a headache. Like I think these two. Oh my god, <laughs> this is wild. Doctor Stevens, did you need something? No. Ow. 
Oh, I'm sorry. That's a reasonable response. Ah. Look at the bunny and the chick. You'll be fine. Okay, but can oh, we call a lawyer me? first? I don't have a will. And, and there's when there's no a father. will, there's a way. Oh, okay. No offense, little boy, but uh, you look like my oldest son. And he's nothing but trouble. Yvonne, shut up. What? <laughs> I said no offense. I'm just saying. Are you sure you're a doctor? A cliche. You can only be a doctor if you're 70 years old. Keep that in mind. And then I'm a vapid narcissist when you mix me with alcohol. In case you were wondering. At least she's not doing a surgery. <laughs> I was kind of worried you would. I take issue with her salmon colored scrubs. Ooh. I mean, what's the surgeon or salmon colored scrubs? This is what I'm saying. Call him. What I'm saying is that there's no shame in taking a little more time off. It doesn't make you old or tired or rusty. It... I don't, yeah, okay, I don't okay, think okay, you've helped. <laughs> You're the only attendant neurosurgeon. You're obviously needed elsewhere, and I'm fine here. Is the wound clean, Yang? Uh, yes, sir. I. But, but what? It's not his leg. Can you spit that, out? What is going on? Um, the leg has sorry. worms. Just his legs. Yeah. What about them? It's not. They're his both leg. left. Uh, is it going straight through her spine? It is. T.A. What? Well, she's done. Hitting the aorta. Look at him. It's right in line with this inferior vena cava. Mmm, the inferior vena cava, yes, yes, yes. Now, if we move the pole, then... They'll both bleed out. Well, cauterize the wound. What if we don't <laughs> move the pole? If we move her, we have a real shot of saving him. Well, I can argue. Well, we'll be able to on that one. We should move him. Give her the best shot we can. So basically, whoever you move doesn't stand a chance. Basically. <laughs> How do you decide who gets to live? Flip a coin. Blood alcohol test for practicing any medicine tonight. What? No, I'm totally fine. Look. Mm. Totally fine. No. Nope. Would you want Meredith performing a surgery on you? That's my question of the day. <laughs> no. Uh, the leg you brought in with the amputee. I didn't bring in an amputee. Okay, well, um, one of you did, and it's um, because <laughs> all paramedics look alike to you, right? What? Okay. Really? Um, I cannot. <gasps> another giant ego right now. I'm already. <laughs> Shut up. Your guy can live without his leg. This is so not about the leg or the guy, but thank you. Yeah, what a For useless you human do. being. Really? Thanks. Well, maybe not useless. She probably has saved a few lives herself, but useless in this moment. <laughs> we fine. Yeah, but some tried to oh, get off your phone. Hey, I'm with Alex. God, for oh, once. You operate on a All right, George, that's a bit sexual. I think I'm strung out on the scalpel. Nothing wrong with that. Well, he's giving her the eyes. The George eyes. Please tell me you've seen a right leg. A cleanly severed right leg? No. How weird is this job? Uh, yes, it's something. Oh, George was a bit horny there. Is there any reason you can think of that this patient should be wandering around the hospital unattended? She's not unattended. I came up with her. She's. Yeah. You can leave now, Doctor Kraft. Oh, he's not wrong. <laughs> can you feel that, Miss Krasnov? You're a cute doctor. He's pretty cute. Yeah, a very good-looking guy. <laughs> Could you try to wiggle your toes, Mr. Maynard? Yeah, and clip your toenails as well while you're at it. What about me? Am I moving? No, you're going to die because we're going with uh, we're Miss getting him off, I guess. <laughs> Yay, me. Oh dear. She's gonna die, isn't she? Are we gonna live through this? Oh, that's just morose. One talk. of you are. We're gonna do everything we can, Mr. Maynard. Yeah, okay. At least he didn't say yes. <laughs> took the liberty of checking the wound, and it's very clean cut, well preserved. Uh, Dr. Weber? Why? It's not. It's got. It's just not. Did you happen to notice, for example, that it was shaved recently and manicured? <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe. Maybe he did that. You don't know. The man who woke up and shaved one of his legs this morning. No. Maybe. I'll go find the. Don't judge a book by its cover. That's what I say. Where are we? You arrived. You're Why in a hospital. Already? What's this week? Spine severed. Classic I joke. I didn't hit. She's cracking jokes. How do you tell someone she's going to be dead in a few minutes when she's sitting up cracking jokes? Pretty easy. You go. Just so you know, you're going to be dead in a couple of minutes. There you go. I should be a doctor. Easy. Excuse me. 
Is there any chance that we can get out of here sometime this year? You can well, leave. Fact, often so is radiology, and I can't discharge your friend until I'm certain she doesn't have any internal injuries. I give Alex permission to dash that phone across a wall. The doctor's friggin' useless. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm asking if you could maybe sift through some of that carnage and find it. Uh, Hello. I think you're gonna have to go there yourself. I need you to help me find the leg. I, I checked the board. You're not in search. As her now boyfriend, you don't really have a choice. You're my boyfriend. I mean. Exactly. <laughs> when we're on duty, I can't be your boyfriend. Oh. Uh... Okay, so uh, when we're on duty, I can have sex with someone else? Well, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking away. There's uh, great logic there. Molly plugs a hole with his finger and everyone walks around like he's some kind of hero. I well, have one off day. You chickened out. Is that what it was? Briefly. Why didn't you kiss For the whole day. How is one bloody hairy leg going to destroy my career? <laughs> a little obsessive she gets. There's a certain amount of shock. It's preventing you from feeling pain, from feeling the extent of your injuries. That's mad that your body just in shock to refuses to feel pain. That's mad. I have to walk out of here anytime soon, so whatever it is you have to say, just please say it. In order to operate on Mr. Maynard, we have to separate you two. In order to do that, we have to move you backwards off the pole. <laughs> so if you move me, Fatality, I'll die. I think, yeah. Your injuries are less extensive. Oh, bro, that as sucks. As we operate around it, we have a better chance at repairing the damage. <sighs> it's not fair either way. This is the best case of that. Easy peasy. I'm invested. Is, um, is my Danny? Is he here yet? There are delays at the airport. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. This is better. Well, doing it now. <laughs> Danny, he wouldn't understand. Oh, right. Do it that, yeah. I've had a couple of hours to, you know, process all of this, but if, if, if he had to see me... Well, process that you're going to die. You've had, like, one minute. Like that. You can tell Derek feels shitty. I mean, they all feel shitty about this. The trauma of Brooks burns. There's an additional risk of shock. She just wants to be certain. It's ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. You're going to be fine. Oh, no, she's being very reasonable. <laughs> Forms. Unless you want our son to end up with my mom. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how I'll do it. <laughs> Straight on it. The same donor. So your baby's your brother and sister? Oh, how cool is that? Oh, that's pretty <laughs> cool. Wow. Wet. What? What? Oh. I'm wet. God, I think my water just broke. Well, that's a wild day for you then. You got a broken rib. We're gonna give you some painkillers, and uh, after that, you should be good to go. Oh, I throw this phone. Ivan, where's your phone? Ivan. Is Ivan, Ivan. dead? Ivan. <laughs> Go yeah. blue. I need some help over here. She's just exhausted from talking to 50 people, that's all. She wasn't even patient. Oh, Alex, you weren't on your game. Know. Everyone's judging him like, bro, <laughs> why are you here? Is she dead? No, no, no. Hell yeah, no. <laughs> I don't think she deserves to die. But hey, uh, you know it's what? Death 251. Yvonne, someone was gonna die. Alex, you meant to know this stuff. You go have your C-section and enjoy those drugs. This is already not fun for my vagina. <laughs> that line delivery is great. Stay alive, okay? You too. One of them's gonna die. <laughs> Everyone, you know, the one with the pole through, one of them's gonna die, and one of those two's probably gonna die. Yeah, Alex, you gotta step hey, up, God. bro. What? Easy, killer. Jill said you guys were freaking out looking for this leg. <laughs> Great guitar string there, what the hell? Right on. Alex, you didn't do that, so don't come in thinking you've smashed it. I'm extremely sorry, I, I looked everywhere, but I... Up. What's going on? Oh you, oh, you found the leg? I found the leg. You didn't find the leg, someone bought it to you, Alex. Calm down. Forever and I can handle it from here. No, I did... No, 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 no. Alex got lucky he's in the right place when bought it to him. Get out. Oh, bro. Right now. 
she's gonna die. She's gonna flop. Well, I'm invested on these random characters I've known for 30 minutes. You know what it is? Good acting. You can tell which of these extras are actually good at acting. I'm gonna put you to sleep. So it's not gonna hurt? It won't hurt a bit. Because she's zonked as anything. You're gonna be the one to talk to my Danny, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, because she knows he cares. What would you like me to tell him? That's too late. Oh, wait, no. We're not going to hear it. She, she's definitely going to die then, because then he's going to tell him at the end of the episode. I, <laughs> I like that I looked at Meredith, but it's made sure. It's okay. I think, unless he's just being a doofus. <laughs> Take some aspirin with a banana back. Helps with the hangover. Oh, great conversation, guys. You're staying with her. Oh. Yes. She's my wife. Oh, she's not. She cheated on you, you best mate, bro. Dr. Shepard, she's crashing. Yeah, because you've been dawdling talking about this here. I just put them under. Must have shifted. No, I barely touched her. This isn't my fault. Isn't that the drunk who waltzes in every day? Oh. This has to be fast and smooth, people. O'Malley, you hold the pole in place. Whatever you do, don't, you want it, don't let it No move. pressure. On the count of three. One, two, three. Woo! Oh. I wanted to see him moving on the pole. What the hell? I've seen so many scenes in TV where someone gives birth. And did you see that little. What was that? It's not as gory as I wanted it to be. I mean, the episode has been actually, it's been <laughs> brutal that they have, they've had. <laughs> Why are you doing it with some little, get a chainsaw, bro? Maybe not, I think that would vibrate the entire pole, bro. Retractor. What's a retractor? The way you suck all them down for a vacuum. Oh no, is it the little pipe that sucks blood out? Maybe, I don't know. Doctors. He's losing pressure. Why is he losing? Are they going to lose them both? Let's go. She's done. They just have to leave her. Go on, Mario, just solo it. never anything we can do. We have to let her go. That's brutal. Bro! I was kind of maybe hoping that was away, but... I kind of like that Mario tried a little bit, but yeah. The... I think they basically knew <laughs> that it was done. So, have you made a decision yet, Dr. Stevens? I'm sorry? Whether or not you're going to hate me. You're Meredith's friend. I do not hate you, is my answer to that. Life and oh, yeah. on Dr. She asked me to... Oh, yeah? What did she say? ...to tell you that if love were enough... ...that if love were enough, that she'd still be here with you. What does that mean? If love was enough, I, I don't really know what that means. If love was enough, she'd still be here with you. <laughs> it's like a riddle. Well, I'm work, Dr. Perrette. Not really! We have I'm to backing that at all. No offense, anyone could have done that. I could have ran up carrying a leg. Oh, none of these two died then, that's good. Oh, Derek! You are so invested in that. And how to take care of each other. Jeez. Even she's trying to hold it together a bit. I like Derek. It's what we'll be over this set. Well, he won't be over. He was fine anyway. But... Because. Oh my god. Better get cleaned up. Rounds. <laughs> Five minutes. Wow. As in, their shift's just about to start now. God. Side note, I know there's such a like out, there's such an argument that gets pushed every day, but <laughs> bro, doctors and nurses get paid nothing. What is the point? <laughs> Look at them. Uh, let's put like how average wage for a nurse. Because it's insane. Um, 33 grand. Uh, insane. Now let's do average wage for a 
footballer. <laughs> ah, three million a year. Okay, cool. The average wage of a Premier League footballer is just over sixty thousand pounds a week, which equates more than three million a year. Nurses a year, thirty-three grand. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Ah, oh, this world is so stupid, bro. It's so dumb. Ah, uh, you know I don't even. I was about to say I don't even care. We do care though, bro. I don't care that much. Maybe a little bit. Grey's Anatomy has convinced me. <laughs> um, anyway, all right, there we go. That is episode six of Grey's Anatomy season two. That might be the best episode of the show so far. Yeah, yeah, it is. I feel like all the cases were good. Like, just having it be like they all... Everyone was involved in a train accident and then there's just like mini cases in between all of that. The best one, obviously, was the... Couple, couple of people who had the, I was about to say the couple, but they, they weren't a couple, um, having the poll through them or whatever, that was really good. And seeing how, not invested Derek got, but how emotional and attached Derek got to it. Not in like an unprofessional way, like some of these characters kind of do, but yeah, it's kind of nice to see Derek kind of act that way in some way. So showing that he does care. And we know he cares about his patients anyway, but not to that degree. I don't think we've seen that kind of yet. Made his decision as well, Addison, which he, they haven't dragged out. I'm glad they didn't. Also been six episodes, really, that they've kind of gone on about it, but it's not felt dragged out. I think if it went on for another couple of episodes, it would have started to kind of get a bit like, oh, come on, just pick one. But yeah, I think they kind of chose at the right time. Um, so yeah, he picked Addison, which I don't think is going to last, but we'll see. Uh, and I, I guess I've done it in a way to delay Meredith and him because, you know, our TV shows like to drag out the romances. Alex, again, I just don't understand this Alex love. <laughs> I don't. Again, I'm on season two, so I get it. Also, you guys have kind of I guess, spoiled a little bit that Izzy becomes unbearable, apparently. So I don't know about that. I think Izzy's great, but I'm sure she does something. We'll see. Um, but Alex, I don't get it at the moment. Like, even here, I'm like... Oh, he was actually pretty good for 20 minutes of the episode. Oh, no, he just took all the credit of what Christina was trying to do. I get he was the one to bring the leg. He was in the right place at the right time. I get it. But Christina put in, put in all that effort. And I I get it's like a way to show, like, oh, you can put in all the effort, but someone else can take the credit. And Alex was the one who took that credit. So good job, mate. Um, I think they tried to have it be like, I'm like, Alex is back on his game. And it's like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. The guy just handed him the leg, but whatever. Meredith was pretty good this episode. I'm glad she didn't try to perform any surgeries or scrubbing while she was drunk, so that would have annoyed me. But yeah, she just kind of sat it out and sobered up, so that was good. George didn't do much. Izzy didn't do too much. Uh, Brenda Miranda was pretty good this episode. And bro. Her husband, lucky guy. Um, Who else we got? Yeah, but I think that was, it. that was it. But like all the cases were just really good this episode, which... I think this show needs, like, I feel like this show, is, the episode's going to be as good as the individual cases are, because that takes up about 50% of the episodes, and then 50% is just kind of like the, the backstory of whatever's going on between, like, Meredith, Derek, and all those other characters, but 50% of the episode is the individual episodic cases, and unfortunately you're going to get episodes where the cases are just not great, and this episode, the cases were great, so the episode was great. Um, this has an 81% on track, I'd probably back that maybe go a little bit higher maybe like an 8.4 out of 10 i think this is the best episode of the show so far so yeah thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed let me know what you thought of the episode my hair's a mess because i did I, I had to cut it towards the end of the episode you probably saw i had to walk the dogs so <laughs> um yeah my hair's all messed up but anyway what did i say 8.4 i'll see you next, next time for episode 7 until then take care peace